in your opinion and just your um, practice for so long, does, does um, medicine typically recognize neurotoxicity or does it require, you know, coming to someone like you who is an expert on this to understand um, neurotoxicity? When I was, when I was about Sinai School of Medicine, as a postdoctoral fellow, what we were taught was that medical doctors get typically four hours of training in environmental and occupational medicine during their whole career in medical school. Now that, that went back a long time, but many of the doctors in practice had that training. Hopefully training is different today, but I, I kind of don't think so. That, um, that doctors are just not trained to understand neurotoxicity and what what's good is that they're being trained more to understand neuropsychology and that is a huge plus because for many years and when i started out my practice neuro, medical doctors knew very little to nothing about neuropsychology but now at least they they maybe will recognize and make a referral but uh yeah typically and one of the problems is there's a lot to keep up with, with in, in, in the field of medicine. You know, the, it's a huge field. And um, especially if you administer drugs on a daily basis, then you have to keep up with all the toxic effects of drugs and uh, watch your patients for that. And, and then there's just not an awareness of um, these environmental effects or the drug effects. So the, so often the doctors won't recognize it. And then, as you have mentioned, they'll just keep prescribing more drugs. Mm 